might sound a little futurist, but imagine taking to the skies in an air taxi to avoid rush hour traffic. Sounds like the Jetsons, doesn't That's it? Right. Tonight, <laughs> state transportation officials, along with researchers from Utah State University, showed us what it could look like. KSL News Specialist Kirsten Nunez was there for the demo. Kirsten? Yeah, this is the first of its kind demonstration here in Utah, and it happened right in this parking lot, believe it or not. UDOT showing that vertiports, which are basically just mini airports, can go up in a lot of places. We watched Jetsons as young kids, and we knew that at some point this was going to be happening. A future filled with air taxis and drone deliveries. This simple space showcased the future of urban air travel here in Utah. A Bell 505 helicopter demonstrated the takeoff and landing capabilities future air taxis need to make vertiports a reality. The reason we're doing this is to um, work on how we can seamlessly integrate and safely integrate vertiports in the future into neighborhoods and businesses. Now this is a mock vertiport, basically a micro airport designed for aircraft that doesn't need a runway. First thing we're doing is trying to make maps of places that vertiports, which are locations for electric air taxis. But there are a lot of other places where we could put these empty vacant parking lots, um, different places the state is actually even looking at state-owned parking lots as potential possibilities for this. UDOT says vertiports would make transportation quicker and cleaner and soon you might see an air taxi like this in your city. It's not a matter of if, but a matter of when. And UDOT expects these vertiports to start popping up around the valley in about five to ten years, but the bulk of it at the beginning will likely be packages and deliveries. And you know, I wish this vertiport was up and running now because it would be really handy to take an air taxi from Layton back to my house in South Jordan. Yeah, can you imagine if you could bypass all the rush hour traffic? That'd be a dream. <laughs> Thanks, Kristen.